All right. Good freaking morning, you pieces of garbage. I'm Mark Lucent. This is freaking coffee. And uh, I'm going to work. And uh, so, daylight savings time has finally freaking hit. Just this last freaking weekend. And now, when I'm commuting to work, I finally have some freaking light. So I can get back to taking some videos. Also, today, I've tried to make myself like extra garbage because as my promise to you has always been I want to make the worst freaking garbage videos I can possibly imagine so here we are so it's uh it's freaking March we're freaking gearing up to start our new garden and I'm pretty excited about it and so uh I'm gonna be doing probably as much as I possibly can during the work week commute a quick one to five freaking mini video to freaking just chat with you, tell you more about me, talk about things. But I've really been thinking about this over the winter since we haven't been able to really video very much because I haven't had time to record the fancy crappy videos. So I've just been able to do uh, nighttime crappy videos and I've just scrapped them all because you can't see garbage and it's stupid and I don't like it. So I said, you know what, forget about it. We're going to freaking start over when the daylight savings time comes and blah, 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 whatever. So, the thing I've been thinking about is this. So, I love freaking coffee. Freaking coffee is my brand. But really, the freaking brand is branching out to encompass more than just coffee, believe it or not. So, we actually have a new website up um, for products that we believe uh, are striking the most popular things. Tech gadgets and stuff like that that we really love called Freaking Trends. So, FreakingTrends.com is our new freaking website. So, go there. Check it out. Uh, even if you don't buy anything, it's freaking awesome that you uh, go there and you generate some, some traffic for Google to be like, oh, there's uh, people going to this freaking new website. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I'm gonna trust it and, and whatever. Anyways, so I was going to talk some about uh, my career today, but actually, I think I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about my freaking garden because uh, this is going to be the biggest garden I've ever done in my freaking life. And unfortunately... Where I live, I can't actually grow a coffee tree uh, outside. And if you've ever done your freaking research, really coffee trees don't like to be grown indoors in greenhouses. Uh, they don't produce anything. They might grow, but they're going to be like, hey, here's your, here's your middle finger because I don't freaking care what you want. I'm not growing any freaking coffee cherries, so uh, get out of my freaking my yacht. And uh, it doesn't work. So, and besides, even if you can, even the pe few people that have had enough scientific knowledge and powers and resources to be successful, the coffee beans taste like dog crap because really all the coffee's flavor comes from where it's freaking grown. So... We're making a huge garden this year on about an acre of land. We've already planted several apple trees, blueberries. We're going to have freaking blackberries. We're going to plant grapes this year. We're going to be planting a wide assortment of flowers, herbs, uh, freaking vegetables, and a whole lot of fruit with the focus on as many perennial plants as possible so that we don't have to invest more every year. Now, our freaking uh, heirloom... Uh, seeds and stuff like that we're probably going to try to save seeds from and plant them next year for the freaking veggie tedgies you know but whatever anyways so i've already invested uh a good bit of money in this getting we're actually using cinder blocks for raised beds uh to uh be able to plant in the little squares and like surround each raised bed with with insect repelling uh herbs and stuff like that you know so the freaking bugs and stuff will honestly just piss off because i don't freaking want them there i'll get my shotgun and blow them in half but you know of course that causes some issue when the neighbor when they see you out there shooting your garden or so that's what it looks like or or, or you blow your plants up it's just not effective you know so we, we're gonna do uh i've always for over the years used neem oil it's very effective but uh, like natural you still gotta wash your produce off like you would normally because it's not something you want to ingest that'll make you sick but anyways, yeah, I will, uh, I'll freaking share some pictures and stuff with that, do a little short maybe later so I can throw it up here for you to see uh, as it progresses. It's in the very early stages right now. There's a lot of construction left. And I'm going to tell you right now, filling raised garden bins with, with dirt from your local woods is, that's a lot of freaking work. Anyways, I'm turning onto the freaking highway here, and I'm Mark Lucent. Go to freakingcoffee.com. We're just about to end our New Year's sale and switch fully over 
to our spring sale. So we're gonna take the chocolate coffees down. We're gonna put some new coffees up on sale. Uh, you know, if you message me beforehand and you just love my chocolate coffee, I may give you a, a permanent chocolate coffee discount code for your loyalty and your, your support. So anyways, you have a great day. Check out our new freaking trends.com website and I'll see you tomorrow.